Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install multiple mods in Minecraft 1.14.4. Get them installed at the exact same time. Just basically get things up and running in a uh, nice and smooth way in 1.14.4. Now that Forge is out and officially stably released, a lot of mods are updating, and it's just a good time to enjoy modded Minecraft again, and it's been a while. So I'm happy to be here to help you along with the process and to um, help you install five awesome mods today, but this will work with any 1.14 Forge-compatible Minecraft mod, which is pretty much all of them, right? So any Forge-compatible mod will work with this exact same method. You can put as many mods in here as you want, and as long as your computer can handle running them, it'll work. So nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump on into it. But wait, we have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an incredible 24-hour DNOS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So again, if you're looking for a great Minecraft server for you and your friends, it's easy to set up and they can actually run all of the mods that we've set up here on a Forge server. You can do that at Apex Minecraft Hosting. So you can check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Also, come play this on play.breakdowncraft.com. All the info's in the description as well. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and get started here with Forge. So the first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below, and that's going to actually take you here. This is our in-depth tutorial on how to download and install Forge. We're going to be going through this in our video here today, but if you do have any issues, I get too fast, or anything like that, come back here and, uh, and go through this tutorial. It'll help you out. But nevertheless, once you're here, go ahead and click this green Download Forge button. That'll take us off to Forge's official website, where we want to make sure we're downloading the 1.14.4 version of Forge. As you can see here, this says MC 1.14.4. And if it says that, you're good to move forward. However, if it doesn't, you do want to make sure that you have the 1.14.4 version. To do that, just click on the plus 1.14 over here, and then click on 1.14.4. Then it'll say MC 1.14.4 here. Once it does, go ahead and under download recommended, click the installer button. It will then go ahead and download Forge in the bottom left, where you do want to click that keep button. As long as it says Forge, it's 100% safe to keep. If you're on Mozilla Firefox, you're going to click save in the center of your screen. Now, I do want to say that's going to be a pretty much similar process for all of these mods. You're going to have to save or keep every single one of them. And as long as you're using our official download links that are linked in the description, you're 100% safe to do that. You have nothing to worry about. And so I'm not going to go through that process on every single one of these mods because we're about to download five mods. It's going to be a bit insane. So the first mod we're going to be installing is Optifine. Now, all these, again, are linked in the description down below. And Optifine does have a dedicated tutorial, as does World Edit, on our website. However, you're installing Optifine a bit differently than how you're installing it on our website. So once you're here, just click the green Download Optifine button. Then for Optifine, we actually need to make sure we're using a preview version because only version F4 and higher of Optifine is compatible with Forge. So F4 or higher. Now F4 might be down here, but as you can see, the F3 version of Optifine is the most recent like stable version. We have to use the F4 version, which is under previews. So I'm gonna go ahead and click mirror here. Then we can take us to this page where we wanna click the download preview Optifine button. And then again, we need to keep it or save it depending on whether you're on Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox. We're also going to be installing the One Probe today. On the right hand side over here, we can see the One Probe is compatible with 1.14. So we're going to click that purple download button. The download will begin in a, four, a few seconds. And then once the download begins, we're going to keep and save it. Exactly like that. The One Probe is a uh, really cool mod that kind of shows you what you were looking at. It reminds me of the What Am I Looking At mod, which is actually what it's based on. Now we want to download Iron Chest. Iron Chest is also a really cool mod that, well, adds Iron Chest to Minecraft. And as you can see on the right hand side, on the recent under recent files here, we do have Minecraft 1.14, and then we do have Iron Chest 1.14.4, meaning it's compatible with 1.14.4 Forge. Click that purple download button. Again, have to wait five seconds. It's getting repetitive at this point. I get it, but we do have to download all of these mods. We do have World Edit as well, and again, World Edit does have a dedicated tutorial on our website, but once you're here, you just want to click the Download World Edit button. However, this does go through how to install World Edit with Forge. But nevertheless, we're going to click that Download World Edit button. It takes us off to a page we're familiar with, Curse Forge here, and on the right-hand side, we want to find 1.14, and we need to make sure we're downloading the Forge version of World Edit. Now, I'm going to be a little more specific here and click on Files, and then as we can see, we do have World Edit 7.0.1 Forge for MC 114.4. You want to make sure you're downloading the Forge version. If you don't, it won't work. So we want to click this purple download button on the Forge version. Wait five seconds and it will download. Before you click save on this, just make sure that the title of this does say Forge. And as we can see, it says World Edit dash Forge. So we can click keep or save. And then last but not least, we do need to download storage drawers. Same thing on the right hand side over here. We do have storage drawers. 1.14.4 is in the title there. It's also under the Minecraft 1.14 section. Click the purple download button and it will go ahead and start downloading. Everyone, we're finally done downloading our mods, and we downloaded quite a few there, so once we minimize our browser, it's going to be a bit overwhelming. So let's minimize the browser here, 
And we have a lot of stuff, but basically we have Forge. Forge is what's going to run all of these. And then we do have these mods here. We have the Optifine mod, we have the One Probe mod, Iron Chest, World Edit, and Storage Drawers. We're going to be installing all five of these today, and we're going to be doing that using Forge here. So nevertheless, let's go ahead and start off using Forge. By the way, if these aren't on your desktop, you've downloaded a bunch of mods, and they're not on your desktop, you don't know where they're at, they're in your downloads folder. To get that, click the little Windows icons in the top left for me, probably the bottom left of your screen, click on that, and then type in Downloads right like so. You'll then have this Downloads File folder in Windows. Click on that, and you'll find all of your files in here. Right, like so, drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Nevertheless, once these are on your desktop, we can start with Forge. Go ahead and right click on it, click on Open With, and then you should have Java TM Platform SE Binary. If you don't, no worries, we have a solution for you. Go ahead and go to the description down below and find our Java tutorial. So, this is how to download and install Java for Minecraft mods, servers, etc., but basically how to get Java for Minecraft. This has helped almost a million people get Java for Minecraft, and um, once you're here, just go through this tutorial, download Java, and you'll be good to go. Now, if you aren't good to go, for some reason, you still can't open up Forge, it doesn't work, you need to run the jar fix. And this is basically going to make all the jar files on your computer work with Java once again. It's a very simple, very small program that just runs itself and then goes away basically. And with that, it will fix all the jar files on your computer and make them work yet again. This tutorial shows you exactly how to go through it and do that, and it is in the description down below. Now let's go ahead and right click on Forge. We should then have open with, and then we should have a Java TM Platform SE Binary. Once you have that, go ahead and click OK, and then we'll open up the mod installer for Forge here. Click on Install Client, and then click OK. It'll then go through, download, and install Forge, and do everything it needs to do to get Forge up and running. The only reason this won't work is if you haven't played Minecraft 1.14.4 with no mods, no Optify, no anything. You need to go play vanilla Minecraft 1.14.4 before you can install Forge. Once you do, you'll come back here, click that Install Client, and then click Install, and then it'll install and say Successfully Installed Client Profile Forge for version 1.14.4. Then go ahead and click OK, and we have installed Forge. Now it is time to install all of our mods here. So to do this, we're going to go to the Windows icons in the top left for me, bottom left of your screen, click on that little Windows icon in the bottom left, and then type in Run, R-U-N. You'll then have this Run app, right this run application click on that and then in this text box that comes up in the run app type percent app data percent percent app data percent right like that and hit ok then once you do that it will open up our roaming folder here and here you'll have a dot minecraft folder and in here you should have a mods folder but nick what if we don't have a mods folder i mean i don't have a mods folder no worries just right click create a new folder and title that folder mods mods all lowercase exactly like that and then once you've done that you can go ahead and create and once you've done that, you can go ahead and open up your mods folder that you've just created. Now, to install all of these mods from Optifine to Storage Drawers, World Edit, One Probe, Iron Chest, any mod you want, when Tinker's Construct updates for Minecraft 1.14.4, guess what you're going to do with it? You're just going to take it and drag and drop it into this mods folder. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. Now, we aren't done just yet. We need to make sure that we're playing the correct version of Minecraft. We need to be playing the Forge version of Minecraft. To do that, click the Installations tab up here at the top of the Minecraft Launcher, and you should have this Forge profile. If you do, and it says 1.14.4 under it, go ahead and click Play. If you don't, or if it uh, doesn't say 1.14.4 under it, no worries. We can go ahead and create a new profile that does. So go ahead and click the plus new here, kind of in the top left of the launcher there, plus new. You can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I naming it that? Because that is our incredible Minecraft server. Hundreds of players on every day. We have two survival servers, medieval survival with custom quest, over 25 custom quests to be specific, and grief protection. We also have aquatic survival, which is another grief protection survival server with a slash shop based economy. Incredible community on both servers, and top of our Skyblock server, which is completely custom, and you can come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com for an incredible time on all of those servers. But nevertheless, once you've named that, we can go ahead and click the version drop down box here. Then we want to find the release for Forge, right? And as you can see, release 1.14.4 Forge there. You may have to search for it a bit, but it's in here, I promise. And there it is, release 1.14.4 Forge. Click on that. Under resolution, I'm just going to go ahead and up mine so you will be able to see once we get in game. And then go ahead and click create not keep, create. And then once you've clicked create, you'll have this new profile created. It should say 1.14.4-forge under it. And if it does, go ahead and scroll over and click that green play button next to it. Minecraft will then go ahead and start opening up. And once it's opened up, we'll be we'll be good to go. I'll show you that all of these mods are working. They'll all show up in your mods tab except Optifine. And that's why I wanted to show you Optifine because it's a bit different than the other ones. It doesn't show up in the mods folder, but it does work completely. Now, one thing I will say is 1.14 has had an issue of hanging on startup when you're first installing mods. Doesn't look like it's going to do that to us here. Oh, it might. Nope, it's not going to do that to us here. But if it does, just go ahead and close out of Minecraft. Just quit out of it. Just hit that red X and then it'll 
say, do you want to close this program? Click close program, and then Minecraft Launcher will come up and say it crashed. Don't know, but it's okay. Just go ahead and click. That's fine, and then click play again, and it will work. I don't know why it does that, but it's only on first load of mods, and then it works every time after that. So that is something you might run into. Now, if we go ahead and click on our mods tab here, we do have iron chest. So let's go ahead and check these off. There's iron chest right there. Boom. We do have storage drawers. Check. We do have the one probe. Check. We do have world edit right there. And then we don't have Optifine. No, no. Where is Optifine? As I said, it's not going to show up in here. That's fine. What we want to do is click on the options tab here and then click on video settings. And then if you look in the bottom left down here, you'll see Optifine HD F4. That means we've got Optifine. In addition to that, you can install shaders and do all other sorts of Optifine only things like control individual animations. All right, so there we go. We have that. Now we can jump into game real quick. I'm just going to jump into the storage drawer tutorial world I created a little earlier today. And because uh, we have storage drawers installed, it'll work. And we'll also have all these other awesome mods. So once we load in here, we'll be able to see, let it load for a second. There we go. We do have the half oak drawer. And as you can see, the One Pro is the mod that's up here in the top left, and that is even showing us that uh, this mod is in fact working. We also have a One Pro kind of guide there. On top of that, we are going to have Iron Chest here. So if we come over here, we can put down our Gold Chest right like so. But then let's say we want to upgrade the Gold Chest to Diamond. I have to find it real quick. There we go. We want to upgrade the Gold Chest to Diamond. Boom. There we go. want to upgrade the Diamond Chest to a Crystal Chest. There we go. And then we can go ahead and put stuff into this said chest, right like so, and it's floating around in there. Then we also have storage drawers. You've already kind of seen that, but I will place a few of them down here. There are the storage drawers over there, but you can place them down and around and all of that stuff. So yeah, there we go. Um, then place things like, for example, your iron chest in your storage drawers. See, these mods all work together. It's, it's absolutely incredible. Then we do have the one probe here, and this is a pretty simple mod that uh, really and truly doesn't have much as far as items go, but uh, that's just because, well, I mean, you're, you're seeing it, you know, up here in the top left the entire time. Now, at this point, I think the only mod we need to prove is working. By the way, this open GL error with Optifine, it's easy to fix. Go ahead and go to the Options tab, so hit Escape, click Options, click Video Settings, click Other, and then you'll see this Show GL Errors is on. Turn that off, and that'll go away. Optifine, for some reason, always throws that error on some graphics cards. It means nothing. It's fine. So, nevertheless, now that we fixed that, let's go ahead and show you world edit. So we can do slash slash wand, get our world edit wand here, and then let's say we just want to clear this area. We can right click there, left click there, and then do slash slash cut to get rid of that area. Uh, but maybe we don't want to do that. Maybe we want to set this as diamond blocks. There we go. Maybe we want to do something even, even more crazier. Let's say we want to do like a diorite slabs boom diorite slabs are set yes world edit 100 percent works with 1.14 only blocks so awesome stuff there we've got world edit we've got the one crow we've got storage doors and we've got optifine we've also got iron chest there you have it everyone thank you so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it helped you learn how to install multiple mods in minecraft 1.14.4 all of these are 1.14 compatible all of them are absolutely incredible but they're not all on our list which is linked in the description down below if you want to find some other awesome mods we do have a top five mods video that you can check out in the description and it'll help you find even more awesome mods that we don't mention here thank you all so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up and come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com the best minecraft server in the multiverse we have incredible grief protected survival awesome custom skyblock so again come play with us play.breakdowncraft.com is the ip and i can't wait to see you online anyway my name is nick this has been the breakdown thank you so so much for watching give the video a thumbs up i think i've already said that and i am out peace